and I feel him there. I feel him. Do you know what that's like, some of you? Yeah, for your own loved ones? I feel him here. It is incredible. I mean, I feel him all the time anyway. Um, he definitely, I would say, still lives for all of us uh, through his paintings. I hope that you agree. The tremendous gift that he gave the world. For me, of course, he also still lives, and for others, uh, in my heart. And he lives here in New Iberia. He, he's part of the feeling of this place, certainly for me. Really incredible. One of the things that's been um, weird for me as his wife is that since George has passed away, which was um, almost eight years ago now, in December of 2013, I have seen him become mythic. That is weird. I mean, he is studied by, by students and by scholars and just by art lovers all over the world. I got projects from a whole school class last week in South Korea. We're going to get them from all over the world, from New Zealand, from Japan, from everywhere. George Rodriguez from right here in New Iberia, who, um, Catholic High, this would have been his um, 60th class reunion. This year, I was reminded of why. It is to me. Um, yeah, mythic. So I see people talk about him almost like he's this other worldly entity, not a real person. But for me, he's just George. And I hope to make him that for you today, too, and make him relatable to you in such a way that you can relate to him personally, and maybe it will spark some additional imaginative potential in you. Um, some additional drive to pursue your dreams. Because that's what he did right here when he was just like you. He was already doing it. I hope a lot of you are too.